everybody, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. Believe it or not, it's July and I'm doing the reading for Sagittarius for 2019. So let's see what we have for our Sagittarians. I've already shuffled the deck. I have this circle of stones here in crystals because I felt very much so that in July we all in the world are going to need extra grounding energy. Okay, and we're going to have these eclipse season coming back, so we definitely want some grounding. Okay, we start off with a really nice card for you. All right, this here is the Chariot of Major Arcana. This is victory at all costs. Now, this is playing fairly and nicely with everybody. This is about being honest and above board in work and business and everything. Um, looking for a new strategy in your life, things that haven't been working. You want to look at this differently and say, you know what? This is what I've been doing and it's going nowhere in my life to get me what I want. I need to change it up here. And this is coming up with uh, a new defense, a new plan, a new strategy with this person, with this situation, with this job, applying for jobs, the way you're trying to have a baby, start a family, anything that you're looking to do in your life that things haven't been working for you, it is time for you to reassess things. The chariot talks about, you know, taking the reins, all right, and taking control to get a move on. This is cancer, all right? That's what this card represents. And if you were in July, so it's cancer is ending in July and we start Leo. So it pretty much lines up with this too. Um, but you see how this yellow empowerment here, we have the yin and the yang energy, but there's a balance here. And it's, the, he looks very confident, right? He's in charge, and we want you to be in charge here. Take control of your situation with confidence, and you know that you can win. Have the conviction, all right? This is victory, like I said, at all costs for you to win with this person. So you might be butting heads with somebody in love, at work, in school, um, and you, you just don't know how to deal with them with this situation. This card comes up to remind us that you do know how, that you need to change your perspective. But don't worry about changing the other person's mind or actions you change your own and then the energy will shift completely. Yes, the person may leave your life. There may be a difference of opinions um, or they could get on board with you. You know, if, either way, the more important thing is that you win in the situation. So Queen of Swords, this is a woman who would be our Gemini or Libra or Aquarius. And she's usually had losses and suffering in her life, carried the weight of the world on her, her shoulders, maybe lost a child, divorced or widowed. Um, on the exterior, it seems a bit cold and aloof and disconnected. Uh, they are a very knowledgeable, warm person and loving, but they just don't show it in an ooey-gooey way. You know, they show it more in a clear-cut, concise way of doing things. Very logical, very methodical. It would be like this is the Vulcan, the Mrs. Spock kind of energy. So whether this is a male or a female in your life that's influencing this situation or involved with the situation that you're looking to deal with, you know, maybe this person is pulling away from you. And for some of you, that's the best thing that can happen. You draw the line in the sand, you set boundaries with this person, doesn't listen. So you've got to change. And this way they leave your life and you say goodbye to good riddance. Other people, it might be that you're trying to... Um, heal this situation and this person's maybe turn their back on you and you're trying to reach out to them. Uh, they are reaching out a hand, but it's kind of like in the opposite way. This person may be very set in their ways and air signs are. Uh, they hold on to uh, anger and they hold on to um, like spiteful, vindictive, or even the Italians call it a vendetta. They're always mad at you. For, they don't even remember what for. It, it, in this person's time, they will come around, but it's going to be in their time. In the meantime, you go ahead with your life and enjoy yourself. And if this is you, because this is no one involved in the situation, this is about you using your mental realm, being more logical and methodical with things. Um, this is the clarity you need to get things done. So whatever it is you're working on, this queen offers you clean cut decisions. She's not vacillating. She's not confused. And that would be for you too, that you're able to just cut through all of the BS, see things clearly. It's not occluded. See the clouds have fallen here. She's got a clear shot eyesight out there. So whatever this is going on in your life, since it's a general reading, this woman's energy would embody that to you. 
that it would be either yourself or this person involved is going to have the energy of no nonsense. They don't play games. They get right to it and get things done. That's nice. I like to work that way. Okay. Um, so the page would be a child up to the age of 18. And this again would be our Gemini, Libra, or Aquarian child. Uh, if it is someone involved in the situation that you're trying to deal with and you can't win your way with them and this is a parent with a child or a teacher, whatever's going on, if there's a legal battle or some sort of custody going on with this child, um, then for some of you, this is the victory you've been waiting for and you have to be unemotional in this. You have to be very, like I said, logical and methodical. Don't let your heart get in the way. Just be all business up front to get this situation to win for yourself with this child. Now, if it's not a child, this is messages. Now, with the sword up, I'm going to say the message is coming that you're waiting to hear for by text, instant message, email. And yeah, sometimes, you know, phone call or even a voicemail and a, in the mailbox because that still happens. It's what you've been waiting to hear. So whatever it is uh, from this person you haven't been hearing from, you haven't been getting along, it, it's going to be the olive branch you've been waiting for. Maybe something has happened in their life, changed things, shifted it up. Just be wary of this in the beginning. Really, like I said, don't let your heart jump in and get all ooey gooey over this. Just go out there with a shield in your heart and open mind, listen for all the things that are common with this person from the past that haven't changed. You know, read between the lines. If you don't hear those things and don't get those vibes, then you could say yes. This person is offering them olive branch and they're ready to talk things through. And hopefully you can clear the air with what's going on with them in your life. And if it's about a job or work or non-love relationship, family, friend, anything with a human being, then this is the clarity that you're waiting for to clear through everything. For what you've been waiting to bring into this world, you're ready to start. And this is like fresh and new because the pages are also, they're like a novice, right? They help the night. Um, so yeah, this message is going to be for you to start all over, but with a clear head, swift, you know, you're ready to take action. See, like he's in motion, his hair swinging around and he's ready to swing through all of this clean cut, get it out of the way, settle this and be done with it. Whatever the outcome, you're victorious. Whether this person leaves your life and you're done with it, or you heal your relationship will work toward healing it and you're happy. Yeah, I think it'll be good news because with this eight of wands, it definitely is uh, news coming right at you. And this is work or social situation too. And it's the things that you've been wanting to bring into play in your life. You've been really doing this. You know, remember what the wands is your passion and inspiration. It's that fire and it's Mercury actually in Sagittarius. So that's you, Sagittarius. Mercury is, is your, rules Gemini, who is your polar opposite in the tarot. So it's definitely about communication. Definitely the communication you've been wanting. You're going to hear from somebody or something about whatever this is, healing the relationship, getting that job, a claim that you put in, whatever is floating out there and has been floating out there for you for a while, this is the news you're waiting for to come to you. Some of you, it could be arrows of love, they say that you're going to meet someone. And with this July alignment, it's going to be very possible for many people um, to fall in love, to meet someone new. It could even be a love at first sight thing where this is the person I've been waiting for my whole life. It's that kind of energy, all right, for people that are single, for sure, okay? And with the eight, you know, you're bringing things to ground. So you've been working on this for a while, Sagittarius. So it looks pretty decent. You know, it looks like a little hiccups here, but clear the air. And a lot of times it's with you too, um, that you need to learn how to communicate better because your mental realm works in a different way than other people, you know, and you think everybody should understand what you're thinking. It doesn't work that way, Sag. You got to talk to people and, um, Clearly and concisely talk to people and, and pay attention to the words that are coming out of your mouth because oftentimes they're convoluted and they can be sometimes mistaken as hurtful, all right? And it's just that that's the way you communicate. You have that sarcasm and bite to you, you know? But I'm going to pull an oracle card for you from the Enchanted Map. So let's see, Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius for July 2017? Whoa! Some of these have been flying out and some of them are very stiff and won't come out. So I got to wait, be patient. 
Put, oh, yes, yes. 28, movement, two and eight, 10, definite movement, something beginning, something starting. So let's see, let me put this down so I can open the page to number 28. All right, good. So this says you are, let me just put this page open. Here we go. You are a time, you're in a time of positive forward motion. This is a time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward. No matter what your inquiry, you will see the dream take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you now know the actions you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let it go and move forward. I like that because a lot of, you know, and you look at the ostrich, take your head out of the sand, right, Sag? But you have this movement, like we said, taking the reins and going forward. This is all moving air, swift. Air is moving always. You know, it doesn't want to be stagnant. Fire, too. This is passion, drive, inspiration, action. Take, taking the time to go forward here. So no matter what's going on in your life, they're saying things are going to be moving for you. So be ready for the ride. Hold on. Okay, hold on to the reins and pay attention and just enjoy. Okay, Sag, I hope this helped you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you are subscribed, thanks a lot. I appreciate everybody who's been following me and subscribing. Have a great month. I'll see you guys next month. And as always, I wish you the best.